What's up, YouTube? This is ThoughtsThis82, and today we're back with more Trigger Happy Havoc Danganronpa. Let's go. When I got to the dressing room, Toko was sitting alone on the bench, the laptop in front of her. Toko, did you decide to come hear what Alta Ego has to say too? What's your problem? I already heard it. With Master. <laughs> With Master! <laughs> you don't have to keep saying it. Anyway, so what are you doing right now? <laughs> Shut up! Stop bothering me! How about that? Get out of the way. We have to talk to Alter Ego. Well... No, I made Master a promise. What the heck is happening right now? What is happening? Mm. A promise? <laughs> Master told me to wait here, so that's what I'm doing. He didn't tell you to not let us look at it, though. Be quiet, move. Huh? What are you, his dog? <laughs> <laughs> if that's... If it's what Monster wants, i do anything <laughs> he asks. <sighs> you just love being mistreated. <laughs> oh, junior high school. <laughs> <laughs> well, fine. If you really want me gone, by all means. <laughs> Ew, ew, ew! What, 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 what? Oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> um, we'd like you to move. Yes! Sure thing, just kneel before me and beg! What? What? First, a mega masochist. Now a super sadist? Oh, Jill. How we haven't missed you. Can we do this now? I don't need to talk to any of y'all, right? <sighs> Genocide Jack is sitting in front of the laptop. I can't get to it. Just because she has sharp objects. Listen, Kyoko. About that picture from before. Still not talking to me, eh? Yep. She's being very thorough about pretending I don't exist. <laughs> ah, can we get Sakura in here? Come on, man. Use those muscles. Well. She's essentially our opponent right now. I'm not sure I trust her to keep her word, even if we did do what she asked. Seriously? Seriously? She couldn't even puncture one of your freaking biceps with those scissors. She's gonna stay in there. What the heck? Whatever it is, I really don't want to have to beg her. Come on, Makoto, just do it. You do it. Why's it gotta be me? What are you saying? It's fine. It's not the end of the world if you beg a little. But the same goes for you. Just a second. No, it would be the end of the world for me. You sound like a little kid right now. Oh, boy. Um, Toko? <laughs> Seriously, I'm asking you nicely to let us use the laptop. What, 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 what? Hmm? <laughs> you SOB! Didn't you hear what I said? I told you to kneel and beg! How about that? C come on, Makoto, give her the old one-two combo. One drop, uh, one, drop to your knees, two, beseech. <laughs> Why are you acting like you're not part of this? Seriously! I was a, as desperate as I felt. Finally, I did kneel down in front of her and I said, Please, I'm begging you. Will you please let us use the laptop? There's like eight of y'all against one of her. Nah, eh, technically two, because she has multiple personalities, but she's still outnumbered. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on fire! 
such an ultra miraculous feeling of happiness. All my pent up anger at Master for abusing me is evaporating. What did he do? Wait, what did he do? Ah. <sighs> so even you realize it's abuse. Hey. That should be enough, right? Hurry up and let us talk to Alter Ego. <laughs> okay! <sighs> you really came! Everyone, come closer! I already told Biakia, but... I was finally able to crack open all the files that were on this laptop. Sorry to have kept you all waiting. Correct. Just what I thought. I see. Finally, the time has come. Uh, um... I'm starting to get kind of nervous. I felt the same way. Resting on the keyboard, my hands had started to shake. Just a second. Move. The single word was like a sharpened blade. Wounded, I moved to let her take over. Hey, you can't be... can't be masculine anymore after being on your knees. <laughs> so then... Here we go. Kyoko began, began typing, the words appearing as fast as I could read them. Can you tell us what you found out? Leave it to me. Sure. I analyzed the files and extracted all the useful information I could find. And one particularly important fact I discovered was that a certain plan had been put into effect here. To isolate the students of Hope's Peak Academy and create a communal life for them. That was the stated goal of the plan. But it was meant to be more than just a normal school life. The students were intended to live out the rest of their lives here. That's... I see. It's exactly the situation we found ourselves in. Hey! It's quite unthinkable, isn't it? And what's more, the one who came up with the plan was... None other than the administrators of Hope's Peak themselves. Huh? What? Wait, hold on. Then the reason we've been in prison here? It wasn't the work of some psycho freak or criminal organization or whatever? No way! It was the school itself? <gasps> that doesn't make any sense. Why would they do that? Just a second. I don't think Alter Ego is finished. Perhaps we should hear the rest. That's right. It seems that the reason they devised this plan was because of what happened one year ago. This is how they described that event. They said it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Huh? What does that mean? What? Yeah, what kind of name is that for something? Otherwise known as the tragedy, it was apparently some sort of devastating occurrence. Because of the tragedy, well. Hope's Peak Academy was forced to discontinue its role as a school and close down. I see. Things are finally starting to make sense. What this means is, one year ago, this thing, this tragedy took place. Yeah, we got that, Kyoko. Thank you. And whatever it was, it, hope, it helped. Oh, goodness. And whatever it was, it forced Hope's Peak to shut down. From there, they decided to use the school as a kind of staging ground. That's right. They planned to sequester the students here, where they would live out the rest of their lives. So, um... But why would the Hope's Peak administrators want to shut everyone in like that? Hey! And what could this tragic event have possibly been? In a flash, Kyoko had typed their questions into the computer. And the answer we got was... Sorry. I don't know. If that information was ever on this computer, it's gone now. I'm totally useless. I'm sorry. And that's all he said. What? What? Then, is this really the end? We get halfway through the answer and that's it? Dude, you still have another chapter to go. They're not going to give you all the answers. Indeed. It would appear so... disappointing. Wait! Oh, wait! So... There's one other thing I forgot to mention. I think it might be important. I believe it has to do with the mastermind. The mastermind? Kyoko's fingers moved even faster than they had so far. 
could you figure out the Mastermind's identity? Sorry. No, that I still don't know. But I did find a clue, I think. The one leading the Hope's Peak staff, the one who finalized the plan to, the, to isolate you, was the Hope's Peak headmaster. So that same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. And according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late 30s. It seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in this school right now. The headmaster? Is here in the school? Okay. Then it's gotta be the mastermind. I mean, Monokuma's been calling himself the headmaster, right? Perhaps. Which makes the real headmaster that much more suspicious. For serious? But if we break down the door to his room, we're dead, right? So what are we supposed to do? I... I'll find a way. Huh? Huh? I... No matter what it takes, I will find the headmaster. No matter what? No matter the cost. Don't die, kitty kitty. Yeah, you're not talking to me, but still. So, um... Kyoko, what's going on? I... Can't explain why. I... I just... Know that I have to find him. She has to? Kyoko, what's going on with you? When she heard about the headmaster, her reaction was almost violent. So then... We should see if Alter Ego has any more information. That seemed to be her attempt to regain her composure, and she started typing again. Did you learn anything else? Sorry. I'm sorry, that's everything I've found. All the information on this laptop seems to be pretty old, so that's all I can do from here. Sorry. I'm really sorry. <sighs> then, it really is all over. Hey. Wait. Alter Ego seems to have more to say. So, um... Well... It's kind of a different topic, but I was wondering about something. Um... I haven't seen Celeste, Hifumi, or Taka since yesterday. A heavy silence fell across the room. The only sound was the flat, precise clink, uh, clicking of keys as to oh, Toko... as Kyoko typed. They're all dead. What? Um... I see. <laughs> Certainly I knew that was a possibility, but... Okay, then. It really happened. Sorry. Hmm. There's no point in me getting depressed over things I can't do anything about. Anyway... Well then, I guess that's it. That's it. A simple phrase that held so much meaning. She began typing again. You've done your job. Thank you. I see. I'm done? I... I guess I am, huh? Okay, then. Then... maybe I'll take a little rest. I'm kinda tired. Goodbye, everyone. <sighs> see you later. With that, the laptop entered sleep mode. <laughs> I see. So, Alter Ego did everything he could. Indeed. We won't have to talk to him all that much anymore. But... I feel kind of sorry for him. But... You feel sorry? But he's just a computer program, right? Well... I know, but still, he, he did everything he could for us, you know? Hmm. I mean, yeah, he did, but that's what a computer program is designed to do. You don't tell a computer good job every time you shut it down, do you? I do. I give my CPU a high five every time. It earns it. It works hard for me. Hmm. Well, no. But when we talked to Alter Ego, I guess I just didn't see it that way. I know what you mean. I feel the same way. Hey! Come on, it's just a program. You can tell the difference between a program and a friend, right? But you know, 
What's the difference between us and that program, really? But you know, what's the difference between us and that program, really? Huh? I started thinking about how you would differentiate a person and an AI. Alter Ego isn't human, I know that. It's just a program running on a computer. But at the same time, I couldn't help but think of him as our friend. That's right! Yeah, he's no different from us. He's still our friend. Hmm. I think maybe I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> then there's no problem calling him a friend. After all, the more friends, the merrier, right? How about that? Check this out. Friendship has no survival value. Instead, it gives value to survival. Oh. <laughs> so... Anyway... What? What? Don't so anyway, like, don't, uh, <laughs> don't so anyway that. It's a totally smart and cool thing that I quoted from I don't remember where. Hey. Anyway, there's nothing more Alter Ego can do to help us. As such, his role in this is over. Am I wrong about that? No, but... Just a second. And frankly, I question the ease with which you decide who is and isn't your friend. Do you really mean that? Wait. The story's gotten off track. We should go over what Alter Ego said one more time. Uh, um... Yeah, good idea. What was the Hope's Peak staff thinking? What? what? Why are they making us kill each other? Hmm. Alter Ego... She, wait, she said that they wanted them to live there forever. She didn't say they wanted to f she wanted them to fight to their death. Alter Ego said that what happened one year ago was what started everything. Well... Yeah, he said it was the biggest, most awful, most hopeless event in human history, right? It must have been a huge incident, whatever it was. But did something like that really happen a year ago? Uh, um... I don't remember anything happening that you could describe that way. What about you guys? <laughs> I don't really watch the news, so... I'm sorry. Nothing comes to mind. Anyway... That event led to the closing of Hope's Peak. At the very least. If nothing else, it must have had some kind of connection to this school. What? What? Maybe all the students here were killed or something. However... That kind of catastrophe would have been all over the news. At least one of us would remember that. Could it be... Then maybe they covered it up. That would explain why none of us knew that the school had been shut down. That's true. I see. Totally covering up something like that? I suppose it's not totally impossible. What the heck? What's wrong with our government? Our taxes pay their salaries. They should be handling stuff like that. Anyway... Maybe. But right now there's only one path open to us. So... We have to find the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. Correct. We have to find him and make him tell us everything. No matter what? As long as we can get our hands on him, I think... Kyoko... When she said Headmaster, I got that feeling again. Well... But even that is a problem not so easily solved. Hmm... Yeah, you're right. So then... Well, our business is done here. So for now, we should get out of here. Uh, um... Oh, yeah, uh, good idea. Yep! Then I... Oh gosh, I don't even know who I hate more at this point. Huh? Is it really that dusty? Wait, I, I mean... <laughs> oh no, I I'm not waiting anymore. <laughs> I'm not guarding it. Byakuya's gonna be so mad at me. Whew. Let's avoid getting involved any further. Uh, um... Good call. But as we left the dressing room, someone was there waiting for us, of course. Ba -bum, ba -bum. My heart is a pound, pound, pounding away. You're making me angry! It's pounding with anger! 
<laughs> You're not still mad about that whole breaking into the headmaster's room thing, are you? Bzzz. Oh, that little matter doesn't even doesn't matter even a little. And I'm a little jealous of you guys enjoying an indecent mixed bath. But that doesn't matter either. It's building. I feel it's building. Now I'm really angry! My head's about to boil over with rage! <laughs> Please! Don't get so angry. Here, let me help center your chakra. Chakra? Chakra? Poom, poom! It's this on the walls of your brain, okay? When you do something to me, I do it right back. <laughs> an eye for an eye. <laughs> a fang for a fang. Huh? Fang for a fang? Does he mean canines? <laughs> Be careful. He just chanted the incantation of devastation. <laughs> huh. No, it's just a saying. Hmm. Oh, I see. <laughs> But what's he talking about? Oh, here we go. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. As oh. such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. An entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug bite. Correct. So it's nighttime. Hey, what does everyone want to do? Celeste was the one who suggested our nighttime rule, but she's gone now. No one listened to it. No one followed the rule. Scratch it altogether. Hmm. I think we should still avoid being out at night time. I know it'll make me feel better that way. Uh, um... I agree. It's true. Very well, then. In that case, time for bed. So everyone headed back to their rooms. Monokuma's parting words left me feeling anxious the rest of the night. I haven't been in my room in a long time. That trial took forever. Once I was back in my room, I got lost in thought. What we'd learned from Alter Ego kept on spinning around and around in my mind. The administrators of Hope's Peak had planned all of this. They did it because of the tragedy, which had happened a year before. And apparently the headmaster is the one behind it all. The mastermind. All these mysteries make me worried, but I still have to try and unravel them bit by bit. I'm sure the road will be long and tough, but I don't have any other choice. Let's talk a bit about where I was at before I became a bear. At first, I was at a total loss. I just had no idea what I should become. A lady in our tech support department suggested I try being a shrimp. She was like, Oh, the company's been trying to push for this forever. It's a really incredible offer. <laughs> but as she laid out all the details, it turned out it wasn't a tiger prom like I'd hoped, but a little popcorn shrimp. <laughs> That's totally tiny. I would have been the world's smallest mascot. I like eating shrimp. I didn't want to be one myself. Plus, someone might come along and step on me. So then, the lady totally started laughing at me. She was like, You think we can do a tiger prawn on our budget? <laughs> so ultimately, I decided to become a bear instead. And that's the secret origin story of Monokuma! What would I change myself to? If I can change myself to anything. Uh, I'll think about that.
What would you change yourself to? Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Oh, free time? First things first, I need to head to the dining hall. Why? Oh, because that's what we do every morning. Okay. It has been that long. Yep. Oof. Wow. Mondo. Ah, <sighs> Mondo, you idiots. Oh, wait. Hey! <laughs> Whoa, Makoto! Huh? Why do you sound so surprised? <sighs> Sorry about that, it's just... If you'd gotten here even a minute earlier, it would have cost me a few more minutes off my life. What? Why? You know? Cause Kyoko, like, just left. Kyoko? For serious? You know, Makoto. When a guy and girl go at it, it shortens the lives of the people who have to watch it happen, too. How about that? And since it's me saying it, you know it's true. Was it 30% true? Or, or what? Hmm. hmm. So, like, hurry up and make it better. Yo! Anyway, see you at breakfast. That's easy for him to say. But what am I supposed to do? I don't know. Try going on your knees and begging again. Beg for forgiveness. All right, let's just, let's go inside. As I entered the dining hall, the first thing I saw was her. <laughs> what are you staring at? Oh, Toko? What's your problem? What? Y you think y your eyes will rot just by looking at me? <gasps> what the heck? Fine, then don't look at me. <sighs> I think he's just surprised to see you at the breakfast meeting is all. Mm. Indeed. It's been quite a while since you joined us. Um... Yeah, what made you change your mind? <laughs> Biakia said he... Likes a girl to have some meat on in her bones, so <clears throat> I'm gonna start eating. I'm gonna force it down into my stomach. I'm gonna eat till I drop. Okay. I refuse to lose. Why are you stuttering now? What's happening? Um. Hina. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Well, other than that, it looks like Kyoko isn't here. You know? Oh... Wow. Oh, she said she'd come by later. Later? You know? Yeah, after you leave. Dad, go on! <laughs> wow! She's not even trying to hide it anymore. Hmm. I know I said she wanted you to show some backbone, but you didn't need to show her that much. He didn't show any... He showed less backbone. What's... What's a creature that has less backbone? What's one that has no backbone? I'm googling it. <laughs> a jellyfish. Oh, that's right. Sponges, sea cucumbers, sea pigs. What's a sea pig? Ooh! Look at it! Ugh. <laughs> oh, that was disturbing. Knowledge is not power. I feel really nauseous right now. Okay. I know I said she wanted you to show some... Right, you have no backbone. You're a... Uh, sea pig. <laughs> Just a second! You're a dirty Makoto Dirty! President Dirty of Dirtlandia! Well, what is that? How does that make me dirty? You don't understand. Just the worst. You're the type who takes the stairs of love three steps at a time, aren't you? I don't understand what's happening. I'm telling you, it's not like that. <laughs> what the heck? For once, I agree with Toko. 
J just shut up already, Hina! You've been running your filthy mouth like that all, all morning! Huh? Filthy? Me? <laughs> oh, crap. Don't make me repeat myself. Huh? I'm not filthy! <laughs> it's no use denying it. We can all see how disgusting you are. Huh? Shut up! <sighs> okay, you and that lusty body of yours. Night after night, you go out for your illicit club meetings. Ooh! Hey, knock it off! I can't deal with dirty stuff like that! What? What are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Your midnight extracurricular activities only put us in even more danger. P please! Stop, bitch! You're stuttering too. <gasps> you like. <sighs> um. What? What? <laughs> Earmuffs! <laughs> Skip! <laughs> gonna drink my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Bastard! So, would you rather have your black eye on the left or the right? Huh? Sorry! S sorry, sorry, sorry! <gasps> hey, come on! Let's leave Toko alone. She's gone a little funny from all her pent-up frustration. Yeah, that's what happens when you're the submissive. <laughs> Mmm. You know? Anyway, you and Kyoko need to make up already, you know? Y yeah, I know. I mean, of course, I want things to get better as soon as possible. But with everything that's been going on, I haven't had a chance to talk to her about what I saw. Before anything, I need to talk to Sakura about it. But we can't! Um, Sakura? Mm -hmm. What is it? Can you make some time later? I was hoping I could talk to you. Ah! Ah! Now that Kyoko's dumped him, Makoto's trying to win Sakura's heart! <laughs> Are you in heat, M Makoto? Don't care who they are, as long as they've got the right equipment? Wow... Just the worst! Watch out, Sakura! Makoto's transformed into a wild beast! Prime Minister Wild Beast of Beastopia! <laughs> Why is this happening to me? Well... Can I talk wait till tomorrow? I'd like to get some rest today. <sighs> For some reason, I've been feeling worn down these last few days. Huh? Huh? Are you sick? Did you get hurt? Mm. No, nothing serious. I've just had some minor aches and pains. Hmm. Huh? Is that... It must be, be because of that battle. Um... But it must be pretty bad if you have to go rest. Are you sure you're okay? Mm. I'm sure a protein shake and some sleep will get me back on my feet. Up. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is... Oh, this is a... Oh, this is a horrible... Sign. This is horrible. Ask her now. She may not wake up. You got it. That's true. Protein is good for all kinds of stuff. You guys, like, worship protein. It's like your god or something. Okay. Makoto, I don't know what it is you want to talk to Sakura about, but save it till tomorrow. She's in pain. Yeah, I got it. Jesus. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Tell Jesus that before you go to sleep. You better pray. You know? Well, for now, let's eat.
<sighs> Eat? I'm kind of nervous. Huh? How come? What's your problem? Because I don't usually eat in front of other people. <gasps> Ever <laughs> since I was a kid, I'd eat by myself. What, do you eat like Cookie Monster? What the heck? What about your family? <laughs> oh, well, yeah. I used to live with my dad, my mom, and m my m mom. Your mom and your mom? Huh? Your dad? Your dad. You had two moms? <laughs> what? No. What? What? She was. What? That's just how things were. <laughs> That's like a serious issue. It's not serious. No one cares. It doesn't matter at all. <sighs> just let it go. You're asking for trouble getting involved with her more than you have to. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you speak to me with that disgusting mouth of yours. Oh! Stop saying stuff like that! Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and eat. If I don't, Kyoko will never show up. <sighs> Pretty miserable situation, man. <laughs> I scarfed down breakfast as fast as I could and immediately headed back to my room. Look at this crap. I gotta go in hiding just because she doesn't want to be around you? I'll have to wait till tomorrow to confront Sakura about what I saw. I keep telling you, dude, there's not gonna be a tomorrow for that chick. But in a way, I'm kind of relieved. It takes a lot of courage to stand face to face with Sakura and accuse her of something. Are you accusing her? Don't accuse her of anything! You can go unconscious a lot, but I don't think your bones can withstand that kind of pressure. Free time! No, not the bathroom! Where do you use the bathroom? Have you just been holding it us this whole time? That'd be interesting. Okay. Hello, plant! Yes, please. Hmm... All right, finding people. Sakura, come on. Hmm. It's you. I'm sorry. It's. Is it okay if we talk more tomorrow? No, Sakura. Now. Right now, I, I need to rest. Mm. <sighs> yeah, rest in peace. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, you guys, for Trigger Happy Havoc Dang and Rampa. You'll have a great week. Bye, guys.